the fabulous Alfie Bow joining us live just after half past one. Um, very, very down to earth, as I said earlier, he would be because he was born in Blackpool, brought up in Fleetwood, um, youngest of um, nine children. He was the baby of nine children. I know, I know. Uh, so we'll have a chat to him uh, just after half past one. And he needs no introduction. And it's a great pleasure to welcome back Alfie Bow. How are you, Alfie? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Lovely? I'm very it's well. Good to see you again. It's very good. To, it's bliss, better to see you. <laughs> lovely to have you here live. Uh, <coughs> so, you. what are you up to this bonfire night? Is there going to be this bonfire night? Yes, it's actually my wife's birthday today. Oh, yeah. oh. Yeah. where where she's, is she? She's flying in from America, so she's going to be getting into a hotel. Uh, shortly, and I'm going to join her later this evening after I've finished all my press and stuff. So, any fireworks for you then? I'm sure there might be a few sparklers. <laughs> you never know. There'll be a rocket somewhere. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> and the very exciting news is that Alfie has brought his guitarist with him, and Murray he's, Gould, yes. and he's going to he's going to sing live, aren't you? Yeah, we're going to have a go. We're going to yeah. have a go. Okay, so just tell me about the new album, Serenata. Serenata. Yeah, this is um, a, a very romantic Italian esque album. A lot of the songs are, well, most of the songs on there are, are Italian. And they are near Italian folk songs. Um, I, I don't really want to say they're classical uh, opera songs, but, but they have that connection with classical because of the um, opera singers that uh, have sung them in the past. But these are songs that have been performed by Italian pop stars by Dean Martin, by Rosemary Clooney, by Elvis, by Sinatra, everybody. Rosemary Clooney? Yeah, there you go. Do you remember? You don't remember. Well, How old know, are you, I'm, actually? I'm for, for, 41 now. <laughs> don't whisper. I'm 41 now. <laughs> 41 now. <laughs> we, we'd be able it's to okay. find out. You're you very, would, very, yeah. you're very young. You, oh. you don't remember Rosemary Clooney, though, do you? I, I, I've seen her in, on TV, but I, she was before my time. Who but. was the artist that you grew up and your dad <clears> used to play? Uh, there was a... There was well, some yeah, singer, there was a, wasn't there? There was an old singer, an old uh, classical singer from Austria called Richard Tauber, who was this, yeah, he was, he was an actor as well, he did a couple of movies, but um, yeah, he has very stylistic voice and my dad was a big fan of his, so every Sunday we used to listen to that sort of music and it was boring as a kid. <laughs> I didn't think you were going to say that. <laughs> it was so boring as a kid. You just wanted to get off, get away from the table and get outside. Go and play football yeah, or yeah. something. Yes. Exactly. So you were just normal then, weren't yeah, you? I was. Yeah. Just <laughs> unlike now. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're so, you are, and I've been saying this today, you are so down to earth. Oh, bless you. Thank you. And uh, is that a compliment? It is. I like yeah. to think so. I like to be down to earth. I just want to be. Still Alfie Bob from Fleetwood in Lancashire, you know. I know. That's, that's all I'll ever be. <laughs> yeah. Well it's 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 really great to see you. Um you. and you you obviously have this extraordinary, extraordinary talent. Um and I know that it wasn't an overnight success for you. I mean no. we we've talked about the story that you know you were polishing cars and you were singing at the time when you were a mechanic and somebody heard you. Um but you know, and, and then people think, Oh, and that was it. Yeah, you know, yeah. that you know the You started singing straight fame away, beckoned, you know? but yeah. it was not like that. It was wasn't. It? I then went to study for years at the Royal College of Music and then the National Opera Studio and then I got a, 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 a position at the Royal Opera House and Glyndebourne and places like that. So I was still learning my trade in the early stages of my career <clears throat> since leaving college. So no, you, you know didn't fit young. in, did you, there? No. <laughs> Not really. No, no. I, no, I didn't fit in. No, no. Uh, now, um, Alice Greger, who is Mike Sweeney's producer, right. who is in her, no. come in, come in, Alice, in her twenties. She has been. She's a massive fan of yours, and yeah. she's been mithering, as we say here. She's been mithering me all day. Oh, don't! I'll cry. So, Hello, Alice, listen, sorry. listen. I'll cry. How old are you, Alice? Uh, Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Oh. Right. So I was right there. Okay. Now, what? Just, just tell us what you've been mithering. <clears throat> about the last note in bring him home the last note in bring him home <laughs> <laughs> just to throw you right in there <laughs> uh, so what what she wants is you to sing what what about the last few notes oh yeah more than the last few <laughs> yeah yeah more than just the last note do you want me to do the whole thing oh, what the not? whole of bring him have home have we got time W listen, hold that thought, please hold that yes. thought. If you if you will do the whole of it, I I, we, I just need to. As long to, as I can plug my tour like crazy. In we, we you know you can plug beyond plug Fantastic. your tour in I'll Manchester. I'll plug it every time I'm anywhere near air on yeah. air. <laughs> Any time. Alice, you don't go on air. <laughs> I won't again ever. Yeah, I do. 
Oh, that is such a thrill. So Alfie Bow, who is here with us, is going to sing the whole of um, Bring Him Home for us. And also another another song as well. Another one as well. Another one as well from the new album. (coughs) Um, And I have to be honest with you, Alice says she cries, I cry as well at that song. So, you know, we will be blubbering in the corner. So we're just going to get the traffic news and then Alfie is going to sing live for us. And the wonderful Alfie Bow is here <laughs> and uh, just on the spot uh, we said, what about Bring Him Home? Just the last note we asked for, you <laughs> said, how about the whole song? We would never <laughs> say no to that. Um, w- when are you coming to Manchester, by the way? I'll just start now. Manchester, I'm here in December. Uh, I can't remember the actual date. Isn't that terrible? Do you have the date, Murray? I will Murray have... has the date Listen, somewhere on his magic pad. M- Murray is the guitarist. Whilst you sing, I will work You'll it out. Yeah, we... This will feature heavily in the show as well. Um, Manchester is the 6th of December. 6th of December. Phones for you arena. Yeah, yes. yeah. It's so you, you will fill the arena <laughs> with songs just like this. God on a high, hear my prayer in my need. You have always been there. He is afraid let him rest heaven blessed bring him home bring him home bring him home He's like the sun I might have known If God had granted me a son The summers die one by one How soon they fly on and on And I am old and will be gone Don't know what to say. There you go. <laughs> can you feel, Alfie Bow? Can you feel? Can you feel? Thank you. We've so... got weather coming up next. And, uh, and, uh, travel on the M6 at the moment is horrendous. Um, don't give up your day job. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I tell you what. You, you. It, it's just. 
effortless, isn't it? Or is it? It appeared uh, to be. It's, it's with a song like that, it, it speaks for itself, and, uh, and I'm, I'm, you know, you do. And you're used to women. For it, you're just you... used to women like with tears <laughs> rolling down the face, then, aren't you? <laughs> no, no, no. And, um, in a good uh, way. Yeah, in a good way. I think it's, it happens a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're in a quite a giddy mood today, aren't you? I am. You? I don't know why. I, I think it's. I know why. It's because your go. wife's flown. It's because I'm going home. <laughs> going back to meet my wife. Yes, yes it's because your wife's flying <laughs> over, isn't it? To to uh, meet you. Well, what about your? Um, by the way, I did promise I would plug sixth of December. Phones for you, Arena. Thank Alfie Bo is going to be there. Uh, what about your life? I mean, how do you manage it? You know, happy day for you today. You've seen your wife. Yeah. But it's yeah. hard, isn't it? You know. It is hard. Uh, you know, there's there's it's bittersweet. You know, because my family sometimes visits, or my wife visits me uh, when I'm away. But then saying goodbye at the end of the trip, she's only here for a week and I have to stick around for another four weeks or so and, and it can be quite difficult, you know. But And I haven't seen my children, I won't have seen my children for nearly four months, so... No! Yeah, it's, uh, it's, four it's, months? Yeah, I've been I've been over for a while and, and, and then I'm away, I'm, I was back briefly and then back again and, and it, it's, it's, there's a lot of travel involved, but... Uh, so that 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 is a bit of a downside to the to the job, but um, but you couldn't give it up. No, I mean no, because I, I <clears throat> my time is is split. So I, I I work for large chunks of time when I don't get to see my children. But then when I do go home, the time that I have with them is very is quality time. So I do get quite a lot of period of time with them. You know? Yeah. Because I don't. It's not like an office job. I don't get up in the morning, go to work at nine, come home at five. I probably get to see my children a lot more than, than guys when in you're that there. situation. Yeah, when you're yeah. there. And also, <clears throat> with things like Skype, you yeah. know, it, it makes life a lot easier because you kind of feel that you're with them, you know. I know you're not, you can't touch them, but, no, you know, it, you, you it, hear it, what's going on, It does you? help. And Usually if we're at a weekend when they wake up and I'm in the hotel, in my hotel room, I'll put the Skype on or the mm. FaceTime and I'll leave it on. So um, I can hear that connection with, the, yeah. with them watching TV or fighting oh, I'm with each other. Oh, I'm going to cry again Fighting with each other. Oh, um, Alfie, uh, another. Are you okay to sing yeah, again? Yeah, sure. You... This is this is the uh, the show at the uh, Manchester Arena um, is going to incorporate a lot of my old musical theatre repertoire. Um, the last show that I did, actually, the last tour was quite, for the want of a bet better word, contemporary and rocky. This is very, very different. It's very Art Deco, 1920s, 40s feel, um, romantics uh, period of time. And, and, yeah, the music in, in the show is going to be very, very soft and romantic and emotional. Oh, so you'll have even more women throwing, <coughs> very things, never know. throwing things at you. I know that has happened in the past, of course. Usually if they're throwing it? tomatoes, they have to take them out of the tins first. That's <laughs> no, it so is not. That's an old joke. I tell that all the time. I've got to, I've got and to get some new And everyone ignores it. Completely. <laughs> nobody, nobody laughs anymore. No, Wait. straight over our head. Um, so what have, we, uh, what have we got now, then? Well, we mentioned Rosemary Clooney, so I thought... <laughs> <laughs> I, thought I, would, I thought I would sing um, one of her favourite uh, famous hits, which was... Mambo Italiano for you. She's related actually to George. George Clooney, isn't, isn't it? Uh, Auntie, I think. Auntie, yeah, Auntie, yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All I'll right. sleep well tonight knowing that. Thank you. That was very, very good. I'm going to ask him to do that again. That was really I'm exactly the same. <laughs> okay. All right, now. <laughs> Ritorna tu e Napoli vendendo dall'America per imparare tutte le canzoni, ma quando canta che confusione. Siciliano non è calabrese, non è mambo piemontese, ma è mambo, no, no, tarantella, è mambo, non voglio mozzarella, no, 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 mambo italiano, prova ad assaggiare più patrilli e baccalà, e cumpa, grivali giorno tutto spian, 
Cambiando sempre l'italiano, mo con un suo mambo. Lei continua sempre a impettare a cantare soltanto è mambo. Mambo italiano è mambo. Mambo italiano, no, no, no. La storia è qui finita, non è più partita. Da noi sempre a restare con su mambo italiano. Presi in dono mambo piemontesi ma Prova ad assaggiare pur petrelli e baccalà E ciù pru Tu vuoi mangiare pasta fasul Dicendo sempre che eh, bambino non bevi molto vino Poi continua sempre in pertarita a cantare soltanto E eh, mambo Mambo italiano E eh, mambo Mambo italiano, sì, 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 la storia è qui finita, non è più partita e non è sempre arrestata con su Mambo italiano. Oh, wow, Alfie Bow, thank you. Did I hear you sing mozzarella in there? You did, yes, you did. <laughs> and Tarantella. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, so that is just a tiny weeny taste of what you can hear yes. at the uh, at the Manchester Arena, um, and also a taste of what you can hear on the new album as well, which is out. I think it's like later this month, November seventeenth. Yeah, yep. and it's called Serenata. Serenata, very good. Ser- Serenata, very- uh, and you know, you, uh, well, I read. I don't know if you read about yourself, but I read about you. <laughs> I have lot. a room dedicated to myself. Oh, at do home, you yes, to go and worship in that know, room, mm. getting a tattoo of my no, arm? <laughs> <laughs> um, but I want. One thing that I read, I didn't know if it was true or not, I'm sure you'll tell me, um, that you trained, you were thinking of giving up singing at one point and, and be a, being a personal trainer? Personal trainer, trainer yeah. Is I was, that right? It was, yeah, pretty much. I was uh, I was in the opera um, industry at the time, in the opera world at the time, and, and it was before Real really Records had, had taken off in my own solo shows. So, yeah, I, I, I was doing personal training or training as a personal trainer and singing in operas as well at the same time so it would have worked hand in hand you know and I only did it because I had to take my clothes off in an opera so I wanted to build up that was that was pretty much it the director asked me to be naked in a show so I thought if I'm going to be naked I'm going to go to the gym and I got hooked on it are you so, quite vain then? well if you saw me before it would be you know, it would have well I like to I like to feel good and look yeah I like to look good <laughs> so I'm not vain. I don't. I don't go and look at my. I'm, I'll just check my hair. In a minute. I've not checked it for it's five perfect. Years. Your oh, hair yeah, is okay. perfect. I have to say, <laughs> as are your teeth. Your ah, teeth you've got fabulous teeth. Well, I borrowed them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Give them back <laughs> later. Them back. And also, last time we talked, you were about to appear on screen in uh, Mr. Selfridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How was, yeah. What was that experience like for fantastic, you? Fantastic, fantastic. I really wanted to get on Crime Watch, but uh, <laughs> uh, no, it was, <laughs> Mr. Selfridge was the one that got me. I loved it. It was fantastic. Um, great opportunity to experience a different side of the job and, and 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 experience how that industry works, how that sort of side of media works. It's very, it's, it's incredible. You know, would you it. do? Would you like to do more acting? Absolutely. Yeah. I'd would love you? To. Yeah, I really would. That's because I thought you might find <laughs> it sort of, you know, all that hanging around that it's a bit tedious. There was a lot of hanging about, but once once um, uh, I had my opportunity to go on the set, I found it fascinating. It was incredible. And my role wasn't a huge role, so um, that was that was inevitable. I was going to be hanging around quite a lot. Um, and also I was comfy with it because there was elements of singing in the show. Mm, so. Yeah. And what about your life over in Utah, isn't it? Yeah, I have, a, in- I have a house um, over in the, the um, uh, ski resort um, of Utah and, and it's nice, it's lovely there. It's really, really pretty. Great um, skiing, great weather, four seasons. It's it's beautiful. Do, do your, you know, your family, your brothers and your sisters, they come and visit you? You know, hopefully not. Well... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. No. I'm kidding. No, no, I'm joking. Um, I would love them to come over. I've been, I've, been, I've invited them over. Oh, and so they often. keep saying no. Mm. Yeah, you know. You know <laughs> I don't know like, what it is. No, Alfie, we've got rid of you. Yeah, yeah. Will you just stay yeah, there. You, f- you left home yeah. 20 years ago. It's fine. <laughs> don't most of them still live in Fleetwood? In, in, yeah, in, in Fleetwood in Lancashire now. They're all still there. Yeah. Um, I don't get back as much as I should. 
or, or when because whenever I am over here, my schedule is packed, and, mm. and I'm spending a lot more time here anyway now. So I'm 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 going to get a place of my own, and you know, in, hopefully, in, in down in London. London yeah, unfortunately, yeah. Yeah. not unfortunately. I love London, but um, not as good as Manchester, there obviously. You go. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you've got to say that. Uh, listen, really fantastic to see. You. Thank you so much, and thank you for singing live. I, Pleasure. I'm, I must say that was a lovely surprise, Anytime. and also bring him home as well, which Co- was wonderful. Come and see the show. Yes, 6th of December, Manchester Arena, and of course the new album, Serenata, out um, on the 17th, 17th of November. Alfie Bow, great pleasure. Thank you very pleasure. much for joining me this afternoon. And this is Neil Diamond and Wait. Sweet Caroline. Sweet Caroline. Sweet. Neil Diamond, sweet Caroline and Chris has uh, texted and said, Becky, how lucky are you to have Alfie Bow? I know, absolutely brilliant. He really was brilliant. Massive fan of his. I think he's amazing.